So today we're going to take two separate auto tiles and merge them into a single bit mask. So that way, instead of being distinct from each other, they will recognize the other tile set as a neighbor and change the tile accordingly. So what that looks like in action is I have this water and it tiles with itself, but not with the green water. And on this example, it tiles with itself, but also with the green water. Now you can do this with any number of auto tiles and it's very easy and it only takes a couple lines of code. So how this is accomplished is we actually have to go to the tile set and put a script on the tile set. It will be a tool and it extends tile set. These constants that point to the ID of the tile set that we're using. So water is going to be tile set 0 and green water is tile set 2. What that looks like is... See, water is tile set 0, the green water is tile set 2. So we create a dictionary that has all of the connections or the binds that we're going to want. We want plain water to bind with green water, and we want the green water to bind with the regular water. Now you can have these bind in any type of combination. Uh, this one's pretty simple because we want to bind with both of them. So if you look at the tile set in the docs, it has this function called is tile bound, and typically it just takes the drawn tile and checks it against itself. So what you can do is actually override this function, that way it checks multiple tile sets. Here in this function, drawn ID, neighbor ID, that's all the same. That'll be what the built-in function has. We add these just simple lines of code. So this is just looking for a true or a false. And what it's saying is, is the ID that we are drawing, the tile we are placing, is it actually in our binds dictionary? Because if we had like a, a purple water, it would not be in here and it would just return false. So after we check to see if it's actually in the binds, we then checked to see and get a true or false of whether that binds has the neighbor ID. When this function goes through, the drawn ID is the one that you're clicking. The neighbor ID, it checks this function eight times against all the neighbors, and it takes those IDs and sees if they are in the array that we've assigned to that bind. So some people get confused because they see the word in and assume that there's a loop because uh, that's where they usually see the word in, but this does not have a for at the beginning, it's just if, and this one also does not have a for, so what it's doing, it's checking to see if this first variable is in this dictionary. It's the same as if you'd use the has function in a, on a dictionary. It will return a true or a false on whether that is in the dictionary. So this function here checks against specific types of tile sets. If you only want certain ones to join with each other so but we actually only have green water and regular water and we want both of them to join with each other so a simpler way to do it would actually be instead of checking each one we could just tell it to check against all of the tiles in the tile set so this gets the tile ids of all of the ids in the tile set so if it has any neighbors that are in that entire tile set it will return true and it will just connect all of them. So like I said, this top one is for specific ones, and you have to have this dictionary. And this one is if you just want to connect everything. You don't even have to bother with any of these constants or variables. You just have this two little lines of code. So what you end up with is a quick and easy way to merge two auto tiles.